Hello everyone, how's it going? Back again with me, Princess Tacha, with a new video. Today we're going to find out how do people from your past view you now. Alright, now in front of you there are three beautiful pictures. Pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Please remember you are welcome to pick other group for additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hello group number one, let's get into the reading right away. Okay, how do people from your past view you now? If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back here. And if you're new here on my channel, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell because we always have some fun here on my channel. All right. How do people from your past view you now? I'm going to do the long distance viewing or remote viewing based on the timestamps that you picked today. Just FYI, I always set the intention for every timestamp. So there's a reason why you are attracted to certain group. You have, see, I told you, the one. You saw that I shuffled the cards in front of you to truly let you know what kind of card they appear and you got the one and you pick group number one, okay? And that's uh, one of the mystery of the universe. It's all connected. There's always a reason it is meant to be and you are here for a reason. The universe wants to send you message through my video, through my channel. So click that subscribe button and ring the bell and join the family. All right, group number one, I'm going to start this with your timestamps energy. Okay, group number one, uh, this is remote viewing and then we're going to the cards. Group number one, I feel that people from your past view you now as someone that truly is stronger. You're truly stronger. I think something happened in the past that they knew. They probably the cost or not the cost of why something happened to you in the past, but they witnessed it. They saw you. They saw you cried. They saw you broken heart. They saw you fall into pieces. But now... The people from your past view you uh, grow, becoming someone that is stronger. You learn to rely on yourself. You learn the important lessons of resilience, of being resilient, of showing uh, hard work and determination and loving yourself, you know, protecting yourself, setting boundaries. So that's like the energy of your group. I also feel that people from your past group, number one, feel you now as someone that is truly um, a stylist, okay? Regardless of your fashion style or your gender or your age, you just look cool right now. You really know how to dress to impress or how to carry yourself really well in public. Now, I'm not saying that you all work in public eye. Some of you not, or some of, some of you work completely not in the public eye, okay? But whenever you are in public, whenever you, like, you go to school, go to the office, uh, go to the store or grocery store, to the gym, you know, there's this confidence coming from you. And that confidence uh, truly make people realize that you are stronger. You are better. You grow higher than before. That's like your vibes, okay? Especially from the people, uh, especially from the people uh, from your past, okay? Now, before I read these oracle cards, I really want to shovel another cards over here. You can also um, get coffee, tea, snack, or drink, you know, uh, while we're having fun here together for my viewers that pick group number one please how do people from your past view you now okay you also have here the bat and hellebore wow i love this i love this 
with the one group number one okay my dear group number one and you're picking group uh, number one 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 could be your angel numbers or 11 11 okay wow with the one over here um when we're talking about the card of the one we're talking about being this person that um, promote individuality so people from your past uh, realizing that you have individuality you know you have your own exclusive style very original very unique very authentic you know our ability to experience um this card is very limited it comes in brief and potent moments that we are left to savor for a lifetime the one you know with this card the one card is both the energy that unites all living beings and our capacity to sense this intimate union people from your past view you as someone that has this intimate union with yourself you know with your personality with your characteristic with your principle i have to say that you have a calm but strong presence you know you will not tolerate other people disrespect you you will not tolerate any bs from now on especially from the past they tried to bring up the past to just make you feel insecure. Even though you're slowly, slowly want to move on and feeling more secure, feel more confident with yourself. But of course, some people, especially people that feel intimidated by you or jealous by you, they tried to just sometimes make you feel insecure with your past, bring up the past. That's why um, doing the shadow work, forgiving yourself, healing yourself, is very potent in order to strike back the people who tried to ruin your life not everyone okay if you don't have that that's good but i kind of get a feeling that for this group you know you're positive you try to move on you try to add more positive in your life and surround yourself with positive things this card appearing in your life as a concept in a distant galaxy, you know. Yet when we are in the midst of its power, a solemn reference falls across all the land. We glimpse ourselves in the fastness of all consciousness and are neither small nor large within that field. You have a connection with the intelligence of the divine, with the creativity of the divine. You have this endless creativity because the divine, the universe, God or whoever that you subscribe to, you know, that higher power giving you that as a blessing for your life. You are the chosen one again talking about you and your existence and how your contribution actually make life and the world a better place especially when you love to give positive vibes to the people around you you're gonna get positive good karma in your life don't worry about it group number one you will get it we are neither important nor unimportant all duality fades away and we are left with what is the precious knowing that life is a gift and we are both the giver and the receiver of this fortune. So people from your past truly see that your life is getting better. You have fortune. You have this ability to give knowledge, to help people, but also receive the blessings in return, receiving good karma in return. And they witness that. They see that now. They pay attention to you. Regardless of the normal up and down in life, they still see that your life right now is truly, actually better than your struggle in the past. At least one step better. Okay? And if you're still uh, climbing that ladder of success and you got this car and you claim this reading, you're going to get that promise. Okay? That's how it works with the tarot reading. Now, surprisingly, you also got the card of the bat and hellebore. 
this is very interesting. You know, the vampire always identified with the animal spirit of the bat, okay? And Batman, Batman is so sexy. You know him. <laughs> you know, bat are actually guardians of the night, representing dreams, visions and the subconscious so people from your past view you now as a dreamer or even some of you make your dreams come true make some of your dreams come true make some of your childhood dreams come true listen to that okay take all as a message from the universe and be mindful that this is a general reading so take what resonates but the bad show us how to access our mystical side Hellebore is an unusual flower. You see this picture? Blooming in the winter with downturned sepals. It resembles a cup being poured out, a symbol of emotional candor. Together, the bat and hellebore tell us to trust our intuition. People from your past view you now um, having this higher intuition than before. Some of you truly uh, a psychic or have psychic abilities. Some of you truly have this high intuition about something. You got good feelings about someone or something. And you need to follow your intuition more. Group number one. Intuition that will bring you a better life, a better decision. Something that beneficial for you and your life and makes you happy. As long as you're not stepping on other people's rights, other people's toes, you know, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, group number one. Okay. How do people from your past view you now? Princess of Eros with Psyche. You know, Psyche is very gorgeous, is very attractive. And Princess of Eros, Eros energy is the sword energy. You know, when we're talking about swords energy and Princess of Eros coming in a reading, people from your past view you as someone um, is very interesting. You're very unique in the way that you think. So your mind, your critical uh, thinking, your analytical mind is very unique. The way you think about the world around you is very original. People are so attracted to your mind. Your mind is very beautiful. And this is also someone that is charming. So people from your past view you as a charming person. <laughs> very interesting here. You have Ace of Arrows, again talking about the sword energy. When you got Ace of Arrows, people from your past view you as someone that truly want to gain more knowledge, gain more information about some things, uh, pouring into your cup with more information. But the act that you do is very proactively pursuing your desire. So getting information about your desire, getting some sort of knowledge about it. You have here nine of cups. I'm telling you earlier, okay? I told you earlier. People from your past view you as someone that got their wish fulfilled or on the way to get their wish fulfilled, making your childhood dreams come true, making some of your childhood dreams come true, on the way, on the right track, making your dreams come true. You're having this abundant energy with the nine of cups. This is the card of the wish fulfillment. Whenever you got the card of the nine of cups in a tarot reading, people from your past view you as someone that actively making conscious effort to make your dreams come true either small big or some of it and you got it wow and it's funny that it comes under the card of the one telling me that yes this is part of your blessings from the divine from angels from god from the universe 
love. People from your past view you as someone that is so lovely. You display the characteristic of a very lovely person, very loyal person. You know, the story, the love story between Isis and Osiris is truly love story of eternal life, you know. You display some sort of characteristic that you can love your spouse, your partner uh, uh, truly forever. Like, you show your loyalty to people. People from your past view you that you are such a loyal and lovely person. Okay, very Venusian, uh, very attractive, very lovely, and you truly are such, you check, you feel the checklist of a very uh, permanent partner requirements, which is loyalty and deep devotion and also deep love. Wow, this is very strong reading. You got a Prince of Cups with Tristan. With the Prince of Cups, I feel that people from your past view you now as a romantic person. At least they see the side of you that is very romantic. Um, you are true to your words. You're someone that's going to fulfill your promise. You never just uh, betray other people whenever they trust you. You are very trustworthy and very romantic. You know, you love to treat your partner or your loved ones to a romantic dinner, or you love indulging in something that is beautiful you love to surround yourself with beautiful things and artistic things because i feel that with the prince of cups this is uh, the card of a uh, romance the card of emotion the card of understanding okay people view you as a very understanding person i feel this is very interesting right <laughs> i want to look some card as well here Commitment. People from your past view you now as someone that can truly display a commitment. You commit to yourself. You commit to your dreams. You commit to your partner. You commit to your goals. When we're talking about commitment group number one, it's not just about you stay in a relationship. But it's about how you have this desire to making to making it enjoyable, to make relationship lovely to keep the love burning to keep the desire burning in your relationship that's why especially when the commitment card coming in conjunction with the love card telling me that group number one people from your past truly see the side of you that they thought you didn't have in the past a deep devotion to your dreams to yourself to your partner to your family and a deep love you really love what you're doing. You really love working hard. You really love enjoying your life. Okay? You want to be happy in this lifetime and you deserve it, group number one. You deserve it. There's this commitment that people from your past view you as someone that you're not going to tolerate any people that try to ruin your happiness anymore. Not at all. Now, you truly take conscious effort to keep the happy relationship, to create new connection, to surround yourself with love. And we're, when we're talking about love, this is not just about romantic connection. This is also about platonic relationship, best friend, sibling love, family love, the love for your job, the love for your career, the love for yourself. You can kiss yourself even in the sense that you just love and prioritize your peace. And you show commitment to maintain that love that you have okay even though some of you are still single right now but the card of commitment and love here telling me that in the future you're gonna attract the love of your life but then you come to that relationship feeling ready to be committed you know to be in a commitment to be in a permanent relationship that's what I got. If you're already in relationship right now, you're truly displaying or making good karma by being someone that is lovely and a very committed person. And a very romantic. Wow. Wow, this is so deep. Yeah. I feel that some of you truly have this deep personality. You think deep. You feel deep. 
That's how I feel. Some of you probably uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra in your birth chart. Okay? Doesn't have to be that way, but you can be that way. Okay. Um, let's look here. I have a very interesting card that I want to get. Um, Okay, let's just use this. How do people from your past view you now? You have defined timing. When we're talking about defined timing, this is not just about romantic relationship, even though it can be. Just because the picture is romantic, we can also translate this message into your destiny. People from your past view you as someone that living your destiny, living your dream life, on the way to live your dream life, on the way to become this hand from the divine, to give some sort of positive vibes to people. There's this divine timing in your life related to your hobby, career, job, partner, spouse, romantic connection, family, children, everything. There's this divine timing called destiny, you know, and that divine timing never late never too early it's always on time and people from your past view you as someone that truly maximize what you have um, and matching your energy with the divine so when the divine timing is come when the divine time is come you actually can get what you want or making your desires come true Group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me thumbs up. Please like this video. If you love this content, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Thanks for watching group number one and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Hello group number two, welcome back to my channel. Let's get into your reading. Like we we're gonna find out today how do people from your past view you now if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so glad to have you back here and if you are new here welcome please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell because we always have some fun here on my channel i'm gonna do long distance viewing and also pick a card reading long distance viewing is based on the timestamps that you picked today For my viewers that pick group number two, how do people from your past view you now? You have the hunter. Okay. Can I want to have another card here? I think right off the bat, group number two, people from your past view you now as the more attractive. That's what I got from your vibes, okay? Like maybe in the past they see that you are attractive, but right now though, right now, people from your past truly view you as more attractive, more seductive, sexier than before, more gorgeous okay regardless of your gender or your age there's a reason why you are attracted to certain groups and fyi before i start my reading i always set the intention for every time stamps you have the Martin and Fox Glove with Mischief. Very cute. <laughs> very, very cute. Okay. okay let me just put it here right now. All right, group number two, the hunter. People from your past view you as someone that has 
courage right now okay it can change it depends on your energy depends on your vibes but right now the people from your past view you as someone that truly have this adventure spirit very adventurous okay let's find out more here um for that card You know, the hunter card talking about the hunter itself and the hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission with an aim to return home empty handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eye. People from your past view you as someone that achieve great things, achieve beautiful things. Please be mindful that this is general reading, so take what resonates, okay? Take all as a sign from the universe talking to you through this reading and through my channel. And please be mindful that this is general reading, so take what resonates. Group number two. The hunters is the type of person that will have a far and wide journey seeking the price that calls to its heart you know so you have this desire in your heart to experience different kind of things or particular things in your lifetime and your heart gonna call you your soul gonna call you to do that call to do the calling Okay, you already sign up for this. This is like your soul mission. And as the hunter, people from your past view you as someone that gonna pursue your goals and dreams and desire, not gonna give up until you truly experience the lesson. Um, you're someone that truly feeling very comfortable with uh, traveling or just moving around or visiting different uh, places um, or even just try uh, new kinds of experiences or just exposing yourself to different kind of adventures, different kind of experiences, different kind of stories to tell, okay? So I feel that some of you truly have a lot of things to tell, a lot of story to tell based on your experiences and also your adventures. Now also with the hunter, the hunter is skillful. So people from your past view you as someone that is so talented, someone that's truly skillful, someone that can do different things, a multitasking person, multi-talented. And I also feel that you're someone that truly quick in making decision, someone that is also result-oriented person and like the great hunting goddess Artemis okay so people from your past view you like the Artemis the goddess who carries her quiver upon her back the hunter typically has a weapon of choice now when this card appear group number two it is critical that you actually ask yourself what am I hunting why am I hunting it is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? You truly have this desire to experience uh, life mission. You're divinely chosen as the hunter. The people from your past view you as someone that has great big destiny. Some of you are going to experience big, beautiful things in, the, in this lifetime or have very important job or truly have important rule, rule, role in society. Sorry, have an important role in society and how you truly use your own talent and skills to actually promote these positive things in yourself and embrace uh, your unique side and how you inspire the people around you to be the hunter too to follow your path as the hunter honestly you're going to be the one that show the way create the path for other hunter you have this focused energy so people from your past view you as someone that focusing your energy into your goals someone that is also respectful someone that is also um very responsible you know and have big endurance as we know the horse in the picture of the hunter the horse is an animal with big endurance uh, for travel for adventures for exploring 
to gain experiences okay so i'm not just talking about you literally travel around uh, which it can be like that which mostly is like that but also about you experiences different kind of events in your lifetime that giving you good lesson or even um, lesson to understand your own strength and lesson to really appreciate the world around you group number uh, two now you have also here the card of a very cute animal spirit here the martin and a foxglove very cute so people from your past right over the bat they view you as a very cute person you have this witty side of you um especially you really know how to exchange banter uh, with this card this is mischief card you know the martin and foxglove represent the type of the trickster so people from your past view you as someone that can deceive other people you can seduce your romantic interest with your sexuality your sensuality you can give temptation you know it's like the card of the devil from the tarot deck a uh, very beautiful very sexy yet can give other people temptation now also with this card you know you are the lover of the chaos and spontaneity you know you're not afraid to be spontaneous a very spontaneous person and that's how also people from your past view you now now with this card people from your past view you as a very intelligent person very smart because only smart people that can be so mischief or a trickster okay you're someone that is so witty you have that witty personality you can exchange banter exchange jokes you have this sunny joyful personality you also someone that truly are good with riddles or with puzzles with with secrecy, with quizzes, with gaining more information, use your brain to analyze something, you know. Now, you also someone that truly pay attention to opportunities in front of you. So people from your past view you now as an opportunist in a good way, meaning that you are so, uh, are so sensitive to the opportunities in front of you and you want to experience it all, you know, especially if this is the one that gonna give you some sort of benefit, gonna give you some sort of positive experiences oh you will love that <laughs> okay group number two that's what i got also for your group how do people from your past view you now you have princess of stuffs or princess of wands i feel that again this is same with the card of hunter okay like the energy is kind of the same and it's like synchronicities from the universe okay letting you know that this is truly really meant to be this reading is meant to be in your life and this channel truly meant to be in your life okay group number two look at this it's all about the horse some of you truly have horse as your chinese zodiac or chinese astrology or some of you truly love riding a horse love watching horse or feel connection with the horse and now with the hunter and princess of staffs or princess of wands this is truly giving me a brave soul a courageous person when the hunter coming in conjunction with princess of staffs this is like one of your destiny in this lifetime to travel to move around to experience different kind of places to visit different kind of places it can be from your business trips or your honeymoon or your solo trips or just casual trips with your family with your siblings with your friends but there's always a reason for you to travel in this lifetime so if you're being called to travel you know answer the call okay book that trip bought that ticket you know buy that ticket buy that plane ticket find a good deals about hotel because you can learn about yourself you can learn about the world around you and experience new beautiful things by traveling because this is like a part of your destiny i guess and people from your past view you truly as someone that love exploring 
love exploring around with princess of stuffs this is the horse this is again the horse very adventurous okay some of you probably have an open relationship things or um, third party situation or people just adore you by you just talking to them the first time that's happened with a traveler or someone with adventurous personality you know people just love talking to you people love traveling with you there's this just energy for you as a traveler or a foreigner maybe you're not from that location that you live right now maybe you came from far away maybe you're for uh, you are a foreigner or your ancestor from foreign land or you just born in a foreign land that's possible that you're gonna have more than one properties in another country you know i truly feel here for some of you uh, for some of you okay not all of you or you're gonna have this experience to explore the world honestly though group number two You have a grace with Beatrice and Dante. People from your past view you as someone that is more mature. You have that mature personality, someone that understand uh, how up and down life can truly shape someone's characters, someone that actually learn from past mistakes, someone that learn beautiful experiences, someone that experience love, experience betrayal, experience heartbreak. You experience different kind of things already and you becoming someone that is so graceful very great grateful of your own experiences and making you humble so people from your past view you as a graceful person and a very humble person yourself you have sorry you have also six of arrows with the six of arrows group number two arrows talking about the sword energy okay so this is six of swords again this is about traveling this is about exploring this is about discovery so your card your path is a traveler path is the path of an of an adventurous person okay or someone that love adventure you probably love watching adventure movie or even if you don't travel a lot, you just love watching like um, uh, nature, uh, TV show, national geography, something like that, okay? Or this is also your attitude to explore around. Again, this is about discovery. And also, when we're talking about Six of Arrows, people from your past view you as someone that wants to move on. You want to move on from past. Okay, something happened in the past with you and this person and you decided to just move on. But this person, mm, my dear group number two, they haven't moved on from you. They're still thinking about you. Either it's platonic business or romantic. They're still thinking about you. You have the Ace of Coins. With the Ace of Coins, people from your past view you as someone that start a new beginning in your finance. Maybe you start changing new job, you start a new job, you start building your career, you start building your business, you have another stream of income or investment, or people from your past start to see how your world is actually getting better in material, you know, becoming more abundant or already on the right path. You are already on the right track to achieve that material abundance, to achieve that stability, to be more stable than you were in past time, okay? You also have here Ace of Stops. Now, I got this Ace energy. This is like the beginning energy, okay, when we're talking about the Ace card. The Ace of Stops is the Ace of Wands. When we're talking about the Ace of Stops, people from your past view you as someone that start to display uh, your feelings. You start to show other people how you feel, how, that, how their action make you feel. You start to be vulnerable. You start to be more comfortable in showing other people how you feel. You start feel comfortable in your own skin you start you start feel confident with your own self so displaying some sort of emotion displaying some sort of raw energy becoming more comfortable with that okay so that's how people from your past view you now when you got s of coins and s of stuffs coming together you know coming in conjunction with each other this is means that uh, the universe wants to let you know that you are about to embark or is embarking into new journey that will shape your characters that will make you more stable that will test your determination, that will make you feel more comfortable with your own strength, that make you learn about yourself, especially the positive qualities that you have, that you actually have, have it all. You have a lot to offer. 
and you're gonna learn through this journey which is gonna be different for each one of us but when you got the card of ace of coins and ace of staffs coming together there's this new energy coming into your life coming to your horizon for uh, my viewers that pick group number two you also have here two of arrows with the two of arrows here this is the two of swords okay someone uh, truly uh love you they secretly love you you see that this lady sleeping and this uh, beautiful angel bring the swords to her meaning that uh, there's someone that really want to talk to you there's someone that really want to send message to you maybe they think about you often until you dream about them it's because they think about you often some of you truly dream about someone and that person actually think about you a lot group number two okay that could be a sign for someone that think about you a lot you have resolving conflict people from your past view you now as someone that not run away from conflict you're not run away again from your trouble now you want to face it head on now you want to just you know uh, defend yourself through it you know you use your heart you use your discernment to actually solve the problem solve the conflict but right now you putting emphasize on your own peace right now you don't want to dwell on drama or past that's why you also got the six of arrows this is the card about moving on and you want to solve the conflict but also moving on from it you know you don't want to dwell it too long you don't want to give that power to other people that cause drama in your life especially past people that try to bring it up again in this present time you know like your childhood friends your high school friends your jealous in-law whatsoever that had drama had misunderstanding with you in the past and they tried to bring it you down again now no 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 don't let them shine don't let them have control in your mind guard it guard it group number two okay guard your mind put that boundaries in your mind you deserve to be happy you deserve to have great adventures in your lifetime and enjoy to the fullest so just you know stay away from uh, the toxic people that doesn't want to see you success okay How do people from your past view you now, group number two? You have life partner. People from your past view you as someone that truly becoming a very trustworthy person. You are a perfect life partner for some people or they start to think that, yes, this is person, the one that got away, the one that I should uh, defend, the one that I should fight for, the one that I should pursue. Or people see that you and your life partner having this very beautiful relationship or a very meaningful mutual attraction. Some of you also have a secret admirer that think that you're such a great life partner and you know your romance is stable and ready to go to the distance for some of you you're still single but when you got this card you know in the future you're gonna have the life partner that truly meant to be in your life um and truly go the distance with you and when we're talking this is card the got go to the distance you see this is talking about traveling again again so that's like even with your partner you're gonna travel around or explore the world or explore explore your country uh, but also with your family okay in the future all right group number two that's your reading for today please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching group number three and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye hi group number three welcome back to my channel let's get into your reading For my viewers that pick group number three, how do people from your past view you now? If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back here. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel because we always have some fun here on my channel. All right. And also please ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Group number three, how do people from your past view you now? I'm going to do long distance viewing and also pick a card reading. The long distance viewing is based on the timestamps, the energy of the timestamps that you pick today. 
group number three, you have here the forest. Very interesting. Right off the bat, people from your past, if you, you know as someone that has this, you're multidimensional, um, you know, you have a different kind of uh, personalities that now they see, you know, in the past, some of you, you just not that shine or you always become someone that are doing things in the background, never take the center stage of your life. But right now, people from your past, if you, you as someone that love the spotlight, you love the attention, uh, you have a lot of things uh, to offer, have a different kind of skills, very unique like unicorn. So that's how I feel uh, with your group, with the energy of the timestamps. How do people from your past view you now, group number three? You have here the snake and fern. Okay. Very interesting here. I feel also people from your past view you now as someone that um, really just want to mind your own business, okay? You don't want to know other people's business. You don't want to get involved in other people's dramas. Like you just want to mind your own business, have a peace and prioritize peace. So peace is something like you really uh, have a big deal with right now, okay? That's how people from your past view you now. Now let's go ahead to the cards in front of us. You got the card of the forest. Some of you people from your past view you know as someone that has this grounded energy, you know? You're like getting the influence from Mother Gaia, um, very earthly vibes, very grounded. Some of you probably is a Capricorn, a Virgo, it's Taurus yourself, okay? I truly feel a heavy earth energy from you, this group, um, especially with the snake as well there, but Hmm. You know, the forest, we were talking about the forest here, uh, group number three. Consider for a moment your earliest memory of the forest. It's likely it included all the mythic dynamics of this personality, you know, a little fear, a little enchantment, perhaps losing your way, perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure, such as the magic of the forest. People view you, people from your past, okay, people from your past view you as a very magical person, have this magical energy, a psychic ability, you know, you, ha you are psychic, or some of you truly have psychic ability, you have your intuition that is uh, stronger right now you have that ideas that's very creative that you got from your dreams sometimes in the night when you dream you know you dream about the next project you dream about the content that you need to create you dream about your life partner you dream you know true dreams sometimes okay so very dreamy you have these great ideas very creative as well so that's how also people uh, from your past if you you now now also people also feel that they there's this enchantment energy from you and also very mystical you know there's this mystical some of you is a witch or you love astrology tarot and that's why probably you're here um but that's how people from your past view you now and they feel you know they feel that you have that strong karma means that if people try to uh, play with you people try to um not be nice to you they're gonna get their own karma real fast okay group uh number three they're gonna get their own karma pretty fast and also when we're talking about the the forest you know it requires first that you 
enter the forest and then that you get lost within the forest. You may think there is a path to lead you straight through, but soon enough you'll be on what is known as the pathless path. So people from your past view you as someone that uh, maybe changing your direction, having another stream of income, or even have another path to do, another path to follow. You have this ability to create multi paths for your future, okay? Uh, create another stream of income, or just have different skills, different hobbies, different interests. You can even make money from your hobbies, okay? That's how I see it with this group, but. There's this energy about you that you're not following the crowd. No, you feel comfortable to get involved into pathless crowd, okay? You're also someone that, that is in the middle of adventure right now. Okay, you're in the middle of journey to discover your talent, skills, your strength, okay? So see every experiences that you got in life as a lesson for you to understand yourself more and gain more experiences to even um, um, get some sort of benefit just for you, okay? Be more opportunist in a good way. Now also with the forest card people from your past view you having this youthful energy because this is like childlike wonder magic abounds okay you're having uh, you're having these youthful vibes look very young or look younger than you actually are uh, people sometimes mistaken your age as you are younger or you have this youthful personality okay such a fun a youthful person to be around regardless of your age group number three now, you also have the card here of the snake. With the snake card over here, I feel that, you know, people from your past view you as someone that really want to start over, start something new, move on from the past and rediscovering yourself. The snake and fern calls you, group number three, to start anew. Regularly shedding its skin, the snake is a symbol of rebirth and transformative healing. And in many cultures, the fern is associated with new life and new beginning. So people from your past view you as someone that is embarking to a new journey, having new life, having new goals, and really are so in tune with your soul mission. And also with this card, you know, um, um, to the Maori of New Zealand, an image of the unfurling silver fern frond or koru is a central motif indicating growth and a return to one's origins. Together, the snake and fern inspire confidence as we start over or embark along a new path. People from your past knew that you will make it. People from your past pay attention to you. They watch you. They watch your social media if you have. If you don't have, it's okay, group number three. You don't have to worry about it. But mm, mm, moreover, they like really pay attention to your rebirth. You know, they also see that you summon the magical protection of yourself and having these boundaries. You have boundaries that you uh, keep, that even you uh, reborn that boundaries, you know, you let it be alive around you. Okay, you let the boundaries protecting you. And you keep shedding your skin and creating new reality. Uh, attracting more abundance, attracting your uh, dreams, making it into reality. That's kind of like the vibes that I get from your group, okay? Like a pretty strong, that's the vibes that I get from your group. For my viewers that pick group number three, please, how do people from your past view you now? Oops, sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay. You got the card of innocence. Yes, this is the fool, okay? Because number zero, innocence. You are embarking on a new journey. So this is like synchronicities from the universe because this is like starting over. And this is number zero is the fool card in the tarot deck. So this is like 
when this coming together when the starting over of the snake card in conjunction with the fool this is like synchronicity from the universe telling me that people from your past view you as someone that has something new you have something new going on right now group number three okay comment below what is something new that going on in your life right now okay maybe new job new career new dreams you have a new stream of income new business new desire new travel plans new shopping plans you got new clothes new shoes you know something new going on okay they feel that new vibes from you the transformation of your version more mature you know you're more grateful of your life you are more opportunist in a in a good way okay more realizing of the opportunities around you in the office in school in your neighborhood you deserve to shine you deserve to elevate your life if you want to if you don't want to it's okay you don't have to worry about it nine of arrows nine of swords people from your past view you as someone that stay in people's mind they can't sleep they can't sleep sorry they can't sleep thinking about you they cannot sleep thinking about you nine of arrows a lot of people thinking about you or at least you stay ran free in their mind okay either platonic business or romantic wow you got a lot going on here four of staffs with the four of staffs or, or the four of wands people from your past view you as someone that offering stability in connection offering stability in friendship offering stability in romantic connection you know you have that deep feeling that you nurture you nurture other people and the connection that you have you're truly someone that you tell other people you know you um you are just full of love and stability here from emotion you're someone that other people wants to have because four of one is like unity harmony you bring harmony into relationship people wants to have you as their permanent partner permanent friend best friend bestie now honestly your characteristic you display some characteristic i even want to be your friend group number three i even more grateful and grateful that you are here on my channel because you are very very interesting person over here grace people from your past view you as someone that been through a lot because you got the card of dante beatrice with grace you are more graceful you are more humble than you were in the past because you have seen it all you have seen beautiful things you have seen worse things bad things you experience you learn from it so you become more graceful you become more humble about it okay that's how i see from your group oppression people from your past if you you as having this tower moment you know you had something that meant to hurt you or knock you down but you didn't give up from it you created some sort of jaw dropping moment with this oppression you made other people shocked surprised with how far you have come with how far you survived with how far uh the changing that you make into uh, into your own appearances some of you truly have this transformation on your look on your appearances the way you dress the way you carry yourself it is so much different than you were in the past though so that's why they created some sort of they had that jaw-dropping moment shock surprised with what you got going on in your life group uh, number three okay You have commitment, and I'm being called to pull one more card for you. You have love. When the love coming in conjunction with commitment and four of wands over here, you see? I feel that you understand the people from your past if you you as someone that has this understanding of yourself even more, that prioritize self-love because we see that the card of the love is he or she is alone or them they're alone here okay this picture is alone but with this card also there's this commitment so i feel that with this group you're the only one that i'm being called to pull two cards um 
people feel you from your past okay people from your past feel you as someone that is so committed to your goals right now committed to yourself it is possible that the love that you give to other people is the love that you so deserve to, re to receive so you taking action you're taking action to express love to yourself even more to show and demonstrate how love how lovely you are how much you love yourself how you really want to cross the ocean for yourself to reach your dreams to make your dreams come true to do what it takes to survive to do what it takes to make your dreams a reality okay and to prioritize your mental well-being your health uh, your happiness and the love that you have for yourself and to the people around you there's this commitment it is a romantic also connection other than how you committed to your own goals i feel that people from your past view you as a very committed partner you love your partner if you're single they truly see you as a very committed person someone that they want to have as a permanent partner even though they probably already in relationship they still see you as a great potential partner or someone that probably fulfilled their requirements to be their partner they sometimes fantasize about having relationship with you or imagine if you were the one that they had relationship with so regardless whether they're married or already in a committed relationship they sometimes fantasize or imagine about you that you are the one you were the one that they had this relationship you were the one that gonna dance like the swan with them you were the one that gonna co-create with them creating the abundance attracting abundance creating dreams come true okay you also have the card of the love you learn the hard way i have to say you learn the hard way how to love yourself the world teaching you how to love yourself your past experiences taught you how to love yourself so people from your past view you as someone that now prioritizing yourself loving yourself showing the utmost respect to yourself you giving positive words to other people but you also now want start giving positive words also to yourself you now start having boundaries that you now just want to surround yourself with the things that bring you good mood bring you good positive qualities now be careful of what you're watching online because you want to surround yourself with something that giving you positive vibes okay because you deserve experience positive things in your life okay group number uh three let's find out a little bit more here okay mm. how do people from your past view you now group number three you have dreams come true didn't i tell you yes people from your past view you as someone that living their dreams come true or have some of your dreams come true have some of your childhood dreams come true you have that desire and the ability and the effort and the determination to pursue your dreams to making it come true you know to realize that you have a great talent to realize that you deserve to be happy that you deserve to experience that dreams come true and people also from the past view you as someone uh, like their dreams come true a dream comes true for a friend for an online friend for an online connection okay for a trustworthy person a dreams come true someone that they truly can trust with their problems someone that truly uh, they truly can come to with a problem and that you're gonna listen to it and you're gonna give a good advice some of you okay and people from your past also view you as someone that truly have your dreams come true in relationship in job in career in life but that's also because you start everything with being grateful so from the outside your vibes is getting more positive here okay you're getting more joyful you're getting more adventurous you're getting more positive and i'm not gonna lie because that's what the cards here saying okay how do people from your past view you now momento a gift from someone special and someone special could be universe could be the divine could be god your angels the creator or whoever that you subscribe to that has this higher power than you but there is this energy about you really want to pour into your own cup 
You see, she's alone here and she's looking in the fridge, but she finds beautiful things inside it because it is a gift. So this card is to remind you to realize your beautiful gifts. You born with beautiful gifts, which is your talent and skill and maximize it, use it. For your own benefit use it to explore the forest use it to explore the world use it to explore your talent and skills because you deserve it because you deserve to experience what it could be if you could making it come true you know you deserve to experience beautiful life only if you want to if you don't want to if you feel already if you already feel content with your life and happy congratulations group number three if you're already happy but you still want more there is no wrong about it okay keep doing what you're doing keep smiling you deserve it i'm being called to pull one more card for you how do people from your past view you now group number three soulmate yes they view you as their soulmate either platonic business or romantic because soulmate can talk also about best friend can talk about co-workers where it is so easy energy they truly feel that your energy is so easy so honest so genuine so authentic okay they prayed for someone like you either an online connection online friend you know or a physical life a co-workers a, a boss manager supervisor or even partner life partner love partner husband wife okay you are their soulmate you are here for a reason to give back to the world or the collective your positive talent and skills group number three and embrace it embrace the change embrace the transformation embrace your time in the forest and truly be the best version of yourself all right group number three that's your reading for today please give me thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thanks for watching group number three uh, thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video thank you and bye bye